video series, I'm taking you into my own personal art therapy painting where I am working out what does success look like to me. Here's a quick recap of the painting journey so far. First, I have to figure out what does success really look like to me? Success looks like me harnessing my power, able to contain it, store it, and not be overwhelmed by it. Then I translate that idea into a pose and into a sketch that can be put onto canvas. My intuition told me that this success painting should go on a canvas that my family did just for fun. Represent finding success with the background being my family and especially like us having fun together and us creating together. When I began to lay the image down onto the canvas, I found myself planning carefully and measuring, which I never do in my art. But this painting is about success being balanced with quality time with my family. And I don't wanna to lose too much of that fun painting underneath. If you're loving this art process, hit the like button for this video and subscribe to the channel real quick before I tell you what happened next. Up until now, my painting didn't have a head. I've been avoiding putting a face on the body because I'm unsure of the identity of this person that can harness her power, contain it, and not be overwhelmed by it. I've always struggled with spreading myself too thin. I get overwhelmed by ideas and disperse my energy in a lot of different directions. But I couldn't avoid it any longer. I needed to get clear on the Michelle that had this type of success. My original sketch had the face looking down at the flame, but I ended up tilting it at an angle because it feels more nurturing, like she's actively engaged in tending to the flame. It even reminds me of a mother caring for her child. Once I had the whole figure painted in, it became clear to me that she was quite transparent. Even though my goal is to have success balanced with my family life, the woman on this canvas is letting the background define her so much that she's not standing out as her own person. This reflection hit home for me because I have definitely put my business on the back burner for the first two and a half years of my daughter's life. So I began something that felt quite difficult and conflicting for me, layering over and cooling down some of the rainbowy background created by my daughter so that the Michelle I was creating, who was successful at harnessing her energy, could show up more. And at the time of doing this part of the painting, I had no idea how far the cooling down of the background would go, and I wouldn't have been ready for it either. In art therapy, it's always important to notice the order that you do things in. So at this point, I have put in the first layer of Michelle, but I have not touched the flame. It's, you don't even know it's there yet. So I would say that this is mirroring the importance of having the container, right? Having the holding space before you put all your energy there. The other thing that's very interesting, because you never dismiss anything in art therapy as chance, is that even though I diligently recorded myself painting this piece, I somehow missed the beginning of the flame. It's like it just showed up one day once the container was there and ready, like magic. <laughs> when I'm painting something that I want to become, the painting process starts to work on me in surprising ways. At first, I was careful to measure and plan out the figure that was going to go on top of the background. But she wasn't standing out enough and it was only in this tangible seeing of it that I could realize my balance is off. In real life, I was being so careful to honor my daughter and want her to show up that I myself had become quite transparent. And that see-through woman is never going to have the success that I'm craving and longing for. 
this painting is teaching me that to get success and to harness my energy in a powerful way, I need to shift the balance so that I can show up more. I am always stunned by how profound these paintings can be and the learning like hits me from the side every time. This is not what I expected to be learning in this painting. I didn't realize that it was going to be about balance with my own family. That's the magic of art therapy is that it helps you tap into your own deep wisdom. It's like getting to listen to your soul, talk to you and help you see and guide you to what is really wanting to happen in your life. I would love to teach you how to do this too. You don't have to do a big painting like I'm doing. Even simple five minute drawings can help you listen and hear your soul messages. So check out my free offer in the description below. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to our channel so that you get an alert every week so you can follow me on this art journey.